1 Samuel chapter 31 In that time, the Philistines engaged in battle against Israel, and the Israelite men fled before the Philistines, falling slain on Mount Goboa. The Philistines pursued Saul and his sons relentlessly, resulting in the death of Jonathan, Abinadab, and Malchishua, who were Saul's sons. The battle turned against Saul, and he was severely wounded by archers. Saul then instructed his armor-bearer, Draw your sword and thrust me through with it, lest these uncircumcised come and abuse me. But the armor-bearer, consumed by fear, refused. So Saul took his own sword and fell upon it. Observing that Saul was dead, his armor-bearer also fell upon his sword and died alongside him. Thus Saul, his three sons, his armor-bearer, and all his men died on the same day. When the Israelites on the other side of the valley and beyond the Jordan saw that their fellow countrymen were fleeing and that Saul and his sons were dead, they abandoned their cities and fled. Subsequently, the Philistines moved in and inhabited those cities. On the following day, when the Philistines came to strip the fallen soldiers, they discovered Saul and his three sons dead on Mount Gilboa. They severed Saul's head, stripped his armor, and sent messengers throughout the land of the Philistines to spread the news in the temples of their idols and among the people. They placed Saul's armor in the temple of Ashtaroth and affixed his body to the wall of Bethshan. When the inhabitants of Jabesh Gilead learned of what the Philistines had done to Saul, valiant men among them rose up and journeyed throughout the night to retrieve the bodies of Saul and his sons from the wall of Bethshan. They brought them to Jabesh and cremated them there. Afterward, they collected the bones and buried them under a tree at Jabesh, mourning and fasting for seven days.